Om Danel, and welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. We here at the channel are continuing our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And um, I want to talk briefly about Berchat um, Amazon. This is the grace after meals. Uh, I'm puzzled by some people who claim to be uh, Bible observing uh, believers who make a very big deal of making of saying grace before meals, thanking Hashem for all the food and uh, and everything. I, I, I picture that that famous uh, Norman Rockwell painting with the the stuffed turkey and the family and the prayers and everything like that. And um, they, to my knowledge, the people I know who are these very Bible believing godly people. I don't think I've ever once uh, seen them, heard them, or even mention them doing the grace after meals, thanking, blessing Hashem after you've eaten. And it's the grace after meals that's set out in the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 8, verse 10. It, uh, uh, God says, you will eat and you will be satisfied and bless Hashem your God. He says, when you eat, when you're full, when you're satisfied, that's when you bless God. Sure, you want to say a blessing before, fine. But the commandment, the mitzvah, the commandment of God is to bless God after you eat, after you've um, been satisfied, after a, a big meal. And I'm reminded uh, of a story, uh, a medrash, I think. Uh, it was given to me by... Uh, my dear friend Rabbi Skobak, Rabbi Michael Skobak uh, in Toronto. I don't know where he got it from. I'm presuming it's a medrash of some sort. And um, the angels, in, in Midrashim, sometimes the angels uh, take up uh, questions with God. And sometimes they're a little chutzpahdik. They're a little brazen. So this gaggle of angels, I don't know what the collective noun for angel is, a choir. Angels, they approach God and they say, listen, we got a problem. Hashem goes, well, sure, what's your problem? He says, it says in your Torah that you're not supposed to show favoritism. You know, a judge is not supposed to show favoritism to one or the other, the rich or the poor, the powerful, the weak, the mighty. You're supposed to treat everybody equally. Don't show favoritism. And God says, yeah, absolutely. So the angel says, but you show favoritism to the Jewish people. You're not following your own laws. What's... What's the deal here? You say don't show favoritism and you clearly, clearly favor the Jewish people. And God says, basically, he says, listen, what can I do? I gave them a commandment. When they, they, when they eat and when they're satisfied, then they will bless me. Then they will give thanks. Then they'll say, for lack of a better expression, grace after meals. But the Jewish people, even if they eat so much as a kazeus, the size of a, a large olive or a small egg, a kazeus of bread, barely a mouthful, they say the full birchat amazon, the full grace after meals. Even though I said only when you, you eat and you're satisfied. They eat the tiniest little amount and the whole full grace after meals. How can I not love this people? How can I not prefer these people show them a little bit of favoritism? Like, you know, what do you want? I thought that was an adorable medrash. And I thank um, Rabbi Skobak for, uh, for uh, giving it over. It, um, it makes God, um, it makes him adorable. And we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch, please learn, and until next time, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.